Good hello, Fitcher Nuggets. If you're building some sort of character cutout rig, more often than not, you're going to have uh, some sort of setup like this, right? Uh, however, the problem is where do you put the split where the outlines will end uh, so that there won't be fill where there shouldn't be and it doesn't sort of cross over like that and look ugly. Is there any way to be able to detect where two different shapes are overlapping and have their outlines automatically cancel each other out? This is where we take sublays to the next level. The auto patch is what this is all about. In today's nugget, I'm going to be showing you exactly what the auto patch is and how it works. And in the next one, I'll be demonstrating how to implement it for that example. The shape on this layer has the fill and the line art split across their sub layers respectively. Uh, this time it's drawn with the pencil tool. So it's vector goes directly through the middle and watch where the edge of this fill is. Notice that it is halfway through the black outline. If I get a color art node and put it underneath, notice that that is what gets revealed. I'll turn it off and on. Pay attention to see how that fill is halfway through the line. Now I'm gonna put an auto patch in instead. And just watch this, ding. See that, see what happened then? It's taken where the line art information is and use that to create a pseudo mask and remove everything perfectly around the edges. Again, have a look at how the color art works instead and how it doesn't perfectly trim away. So that's the auto patch, gives you a very clean cut, even if you're using stroke-based strokes. Yeah. Next nugget, we'll put it to use.